this is the big one. Good morning, good morning, good morning from Fort Worth, everybody. It's Saturday morning here at the Believers Convention. I'm Tim Fox along with Greg Stevens. We're actually standing in front of Super Kid Academy there where you see the big video wall behind us as they uh, go in every day. They see those videos every day. Uh, listen, you know, a, a, a week like this, you know, uh, as long as it is, the days start to kind of, they kind of run together, don't they? You kind of forget what day it is. I figured out a way this morning to know how you know what day it is. I went to eat breakfast okay. this morning. So I go in the room to eat breakfast. Yeah. On the video screens, on televisions, our sports channel. On the sports channel is fishing shows. So you know it's a weekend if you're watch, watching a sports channel and it's a fishing show. That's oh. free. I won't charge you for that. There you have it. <laughs> the things that you learn yes. from Tim. Yeah. So if you don't you know what that is. You should have your own show I don't called know. the I don't Tim know. Trivia. Uh, the Tim Trivia Show. Tim Trivia Show. I think show. that would not go over very well. Yeah, that We're glad $5 to be will get you Starbucks. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Well, it depends on what you drink. Hey, listen, it's going to be a great day here at the convention. It is healing school. It's healing school. It is healing school. Uh, and we're so going to. So, if you've got a need in your body yes. and you know someone that does, yes. have them tune in today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and believe in just a moment. Believe with you. In just a moment, Greg's going to have an interview uh, with Kelly Copeland, Commander Kelly. Uh, you're really going to enjoy that. You might want to stay around for that. And then a little bit later on in this half hour, I'll be with Billy Bird. Billy Bird. So, you don't want to miss either one of those interviews. It's going to be really great. And it's going to be a great morning. So, uh, are you excited? I am excited. Yeah, it's, it's been a, fun this week, hasn't it? It's been a blast, yeah. and it's it, you know what's been good is to watch the anointing on people. Even last night, yeah. people talking to me today about it. you guys were giggly. I'm like, well, you couldn't see what was happening <laughs> behind the camera. Yeah. people were, were walking out of there because they've been touched by Jesus. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was just that's great. That's well, speaking great. of being touched by Jesus, we that's what we believe is going to happen to you in this next half hour. So I'm going to step out, and then Greg's going to come back with Commander Kelly, and you'll really enjoy that. Don't go away anywhere, but we'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. We are back in front of Super Kids, and I am with Commander Kelly. I was in you. Yeah, I know, I know. I got makeup on. Yeah, Tim got it off. against me, and uh, we're live. Yeah, this and we've got makeup on. Live television. Early, yeah. Welcome. Hi, thanks. It's been a good week, hasn't it? Oh, my word. It's been the most amazing week here I've ever known of. Really? Tell me yeah. what's been happening, because we don't get to see this. Uh, and it's all of it. It's Jesus is here. It's Jesus is here. I mean, just if we can we're just be real, I mean, it, the ministry, you know, you, you count costs and you budget and... And uh, we were said, you know, cut the budget. And there was a good place to cut with some haze machines, some fog machines. So we, we cut those and it, and it made a good chunk in our budget, came down, be good stewards of the ministry money. And uh, so, but we're, and I'm like, but that's so awesome. And the Lord goes, Jesus is, I'm coming. Like, and it totally made me think about where I had put my confidence for something special. I mean, you don't think that's what you're doing. You're just trying to make it the best you can. And we, that's good, do the most with what you have. But our confidence needs to be in every area, in Jesus. So he's shown up here, he's shown up in 1440, he's shown up like, people say, well, he's always there, but I'm talking about a manifested presence. You were His, telling me about children praying for each other. Yes. Yes, we have kids. had uh, some like demonic attacks like really? on the team and and uh, just overall little little like little yeah, demonic yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. And so uh, day before yesterday, they took authority over. I guess was it yesterday? They took authority over it. Yes, it was yesterday. Authority over that, and Commander Linda saw. Uh, into the spirit and saw a, a little impish demon push 
one of the girls. Two girls had fallen, like, hurt their ankles during worship pretty significantly. And so they, as a team, started praying and taking authority. Then they took it out to the kids. And they didn't tell them all that was going on, but the kids were praying in the spirit and pressing in. And this one young man had his, he goes, I wrote this letter to the commander. And he'd been binding and loosened, man. Wow. You could hear and his how little old, voice. How, how old are little we Little kid. This is ages wonderful? six to 12, but this was the little guy. And he had his letter, he said, I wrote this to Commander Kelly to pray over my ankle, but I don't need it anymore. I'm healed. Jesus I love it. Is Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Let's just take you and let me show you a recap video of everything that's been going on in Super Kids this week. Watch this. We'll be back. My favorite Word of God game is Guess That Verse because it's a fun game and you're also guessing a Bible verse. What it means to be a reflection of God and that He's our reflection and so no matter what, we are a version of Him and we're all different. That the devil tries to trick us into thinking that we're ugly, but Jesus tells us that we're not. I be kind to people and help them out and stuff. We are an image of God, and uh, we are here for a purpose. I think it's really um, cool because there are loads of games, and you mix it in with the teaching, and we have in the kitchen and in the lab, and it's quite a lot of fun. I am a super kid. I'm 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 an ordinary kid doing extraordinary things. And I'm a super kid. And you're a super kid. Wasn't that a wonderful testimonial video? You were just telling me while we were watching that about a little boy and, and Jesus in his heart, tell that. Well, I read this in a book, which is an awesome book called Having a Merry Heart in a Martha World. So I want to give them credit. But I read this story about this little boy and after service, he came to the pastor and he said, I'm confused. I have a question. And he said, what is it? And he said, well, Jesus is supposed to be in my heart? And he said, yeah. And he said, but I'm so little and Jesus is so big. If he comes into my heart, he's just gonna stick out all over. If he comes inside me, he's gonna stick out all over. And the pastor said, that's the point, that's son. Exactly, that's exactly And so point. I shared that in there last Speaking night. Speaking of the Jesus Super sticking Kids. out all over, who are these guys? Oh man, aren't they awesome? Look at that. that what's really awesome is they don't look all that much different. No, they than, don't. I mean, the hair's a little different. No, they, they, so the ministry, traveling ministry and all really started in the vehicle that's behind us. Well, we didn't start this high up. This was a <laughs> okay. real graduation from where they really started. But when we got this car, you know, it, it made a lot of things easier for them and, and enabled them. I know looking at that, you're going, really? Yeah, yeah, that's where, this is not where we began, but this is You grew up awesome. in the household of faith and this was a vehicle to, to get the ministry going to where they are today, to where you are today. You know, yes, and I, this morning I was just talking to the Lord about what we were going to do here today um, because there's no segment that doesn't matter. And I was just like, Lord, what, what do you want to say? And he said, I feel like he really gave an important message that has to do what I keep hearing over and over in 1440 and Super Kids and 
in the main arena. Kind of the theme of the week, isn't it? What well, the and Super Spirit's Kids were talking across. about mirrors, your identity. Yeah. What are you looking into to see who you are? Is it that your friends think you're not good enough or your teachers think you're dumb or slow or you're, you're not good at basketball and you don't wear the right shoes and you don't do this? And you, I mean, that is the message kids hear. And so if you don't know, and, and I think we've spent a lot of time and this ministry is called to really dig into who we are in Him. Yeah. We know who we are in Christ yes. Jesus. We know what He won for us, what we, our authority. But we have not spent as much time knowing who He is on the inside oh. of us. Like having His very image burned inside of us because you really so don't you get there without him. worship. Yeah, so you, you reflect him yeah. to everybody else, right? But what I was going to say, yeah. what the Lord said to me this morning was, this was the vehicle that was so awesome and special and wonderful in 1973. But we had to change vehicles over the years to continue to go further. This is not the vehicle we spent, you know, almost $12 million to have. That we recently just got the Gulfstream 5. Why? Because that won't go to Kwajalein or Solomon Islands or Australia. We have a vehicle now that we use when we need to go out further. And what the Lord is saying is, and you know, Kenneth and Gloria's vehicle is different. They are different people. I, my dad, I've watched him, you'd probably agree, Pastor Gage, I've watched him press into Jesus, press into correction, press into worship. And I think people would say, man, I, I don't even know how he does it. And well, he's got a different vehicle. Kelly's got a different vehicle because the Lord has just been so good to me to not let me stay the way I was. And, and I feel like there's such a spiritual pride, if I can say that. Sure. And lovingly, there's a smile on my face because that was me. I thought, I'm about cooked now. I'm ready to, you know, take on the world. Jesus come back. I probably don't even have to change that much. You know, I mean, I wouldn't think that here. You think you behave that way though. Like we got this. And you're, what you're doing, Kelly, is you're being conformed into his image. Day yes. by day, we're going from glory to glory. Which we're not there yet. We're not there we're yet. We're not. And so when you press in, he starts changing you. Yeah. And he starts saying, well, Revelations 3, this is what's happening. Yeah. Revelations 2, Revelation 3, like that, don't like that, let's get rid of that. And so we have to be willing. We are willing, amen. I wanna thank you partners for making it possible for these kids to experience God this yeah. week. Thank and thank you. you for your ministry and what you do. We're gonna go now and we're gonna take a look at a testimony from Billy Burke and then we'll talk to him right after that. In 1962, Billy Burke was only nine years old and he was fighting for his life. My motor skills were gone and paralyzed on one side. Uh, the cancer was spreading into my lungs. My back had lumps all over it. I was raised in an evangelical church, but my grandmother was an avid listener to Catherine Kuhlman on the, just the radio broadcast. And so when the doctors reached the verdict that uh, I had just had days to live, they said, if we go into cobalt radiation, we may be able to spare his life for a few months. And when my, my grandmother spoke up and said, no, we're having him discharged. And they said, you know, you're crazy. Well, they said, I'm taking him to a service a few blocks from here. Billy's grandmother spent four days preparing him to receive his miracle. And on Friday morning during the service, Miss Coleman called him out from the crowd. And as Catherine laid her hands on him, Billy was completely and miraculously healed. Billy now knew Jesus as healer, but would need to know much more of him for the difficult journey still ahead. From nine to 13, I go to church camps, churches, vacation Bible school, anywhere I could share my testimony. As I grew older, see, they, the more and less, and I never talked about it. Right. I knew, my grandmother knew, my mother knew, but I, I never took that to high school. I never took that to in my backslidden life, although the Holy Spirit never left me. When Billy was 19 years old, his younger brother was killed by a drunk driver. This tragedy left Billy broken and searching for the eternal purpose for his own life. 
It was Catherine Kuhlman who again recognized the anointing of God on this young man. She encouraged Billy to go to school, directing him to Pastor Wilkerson in California, where Billy spent several years studying, training, and growing in his faith. It's amazing how these things that God has for all of us are time-released, these people that He sends into your life. We are part of a great plan. Yeah. We are part of Jeremiah 29, 11. We are, and it's just, the sooner you surrender to that, it was a surrendered life. I die, He lives. There's a lot of power just in that little two and a half minute piece you saw, and there's enough word in there to get you healed. Uh, and it's gonna be a good day. And I have with me this morning, uh, the subject of that piece right there, Billy Burke. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Fox. It is awesome to have you. It's <laughs> Always good to see you. <laughs> Always. Yeah, we, uh, you were with me last year and we talked about how this time this week, it was a, kind of a time of refreshing for you. Uh, Always. Yes. Always. No place like it. I, I look so forward. You know, you give out, you give out. Yeah. You want to get replenished in a way that's different than you doing it yourself. Yeah. So you come and you soak. What better place to soak? because there's such diversity here. Yeah. It's the same, same spirit, same word, yep. same seed, same word of faith, yet diversity. Yeah. So it's a multivitamin. It is. I mean, yeah. by the end of the week, I mean, you're hit with, I told Kenneth last night, I said, what you did tonight was every vitamin from A to Z. There you go. <laughs> you know? There you go. And uh, Talk about your relationship with Kenneth and how God put that together and what that means to you personally. It, boy, that's... <laughs> You just, do we have enough time yeah, for that? I think that? so. I'll let you know where I want to out. It's a growing relationship. Yeah. It's a growing. It's, it's relatively new. It's fresh. It's privileged for me. Um, I'm not sure on his end, but um, <laughs> no, his impact for years. I have followed his teaching, of course, his shadow yeah. is far and wide. And then through Pastor George, EMIC, Terry, of course, and my relationship there, George kind of opened up that door to meet Kenneth. And uh, I would say probably he's the, the most, in my adult life, the biggest influence. Yeah. I mean, his, his uncompromising, steadfast, immovable position from the Word of God. Yeah. It's more. Yeah. That to me was such a uh, foundational. To, to make sure that the river that's running is running in the right riverbed. That's right, that's right. You were uh, commenting as we were watching that video, it was talking some, about some of the mentors that mentor you and uh -huh. still do, uh -huh. and how important that is. Why, why is it important for us to, you know, have those mentors in our life? And it's to, the only shortcut in the Bible. Mentorship is the only shortcut. You know, you always, you know, you always tell people there's no shortcut, we all gotta go through life, yeah. experience, whoa, whoa, yes. whoa, time out. Yes. When you can be in the shadow of great people who have been through something. See, Kenneth, what I love about Kenneth is, you know, he's been through stuff. You can't be where he is. So the fact that he's been through it has shaken off those snakes, has stepped on those landmines or avoided those landmines. You follow people like that, they're generals, they're, they're seasoned. Yes. And they can sure give you some wisdom. Not, I mean, the Bible's full of it. But boy, we need some living, written epistles. Huh. And he's one of those. And uh, mentorship to me is everything. Yes. I, can, I am where I am today because of teaching, yes. Because of encounters, yes. But boy, the right people, he just strategically places yeah. into your life at that season. Kenneth is one of those for me. And it's a total reliance on Jesus because you have oh you got to get yourself out of the way and understand oh. that he's the one doing the work well yeah I heard someone say yesterday I love that phrase I want to be a full-time learner Ooh. so no matter how much we see there's always someone that's seen more yeah no matter how much we do there's always someone that's done more uh, I just like being around people that I sense yeah have paid a price and continue to pay a price Good. See, different people park at different places <laughs> and they quit paying the price. Well, then you can't help me. Oh, that's good. See, that's good. So, because you can't fight a full-time devil yeah. as a part-time believer, right? Can't fight a full-time devil 
as a, a part-time believer. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the nugget that people needed right there this morning. That it's is, true. That's exactly because what Because people try to do it. They do. They're, we got weekend warriors all over the place. Yeah. You know. You or, minister all over the country, around the world. Uh, how do you prepare yourself for when you before you get ready to minister? I stay prepared. I don't prepare myself. I stay. And that may sound absolutely crazy, but I, I really have learned, cultivate it. It's not a gift. We can all do this. Mm -hmm. But I, I've learned to cultivate Him, Holy Spirit. Yeah. I keep fresh word in me, Psalm 92, 10, fresh oil. I do the best that I can. Yeah. I'm very, very, I have a limited menu of who I listen to. You know, I don't let out, I don't let in anything that would create mixture. So uh, mixture's deadly. Yeah, it is. Um, so, you know, you do your due diligence, yeah. right? And then you trust. And what are you seeing? In your, what kind of results and manifestations oh and miracles are you seeing? In one, your one I don't deserve. <laughs> one, I don't deserve. Two, I continue to be. It'll be 40 years this October. 40 You're not old years. enough to have done it that 40 long. Years. Yeah. And listen to me. <laughs> I continue to be absolutely amazed. Yeah. And I think that's what's been lost in the church is the wow factor. Yes. You know, people see, we get so used to the miraculous, we just, well, we don't even want to go to a service anymore. Or, or oh, somebody got raised from the dead. Way to go. Yeah. And I'm amazed at a carpal tunnel healing. I'm amazed that. And a guy, carry, you're carrying a guy's cane there in that video we just showed. I mean, yeah. that's kind of thing. Yeah. You're seeing that all the time, aren't you? Oh, we're you? seeing creative miracles. We're seeing, oh my, I'm, <laughs> ribs grow back, stomachs. Breasts, a lot of breasts, you know, were oh, mastectomies. Wow. We're seeing um, a lot of growth fall off. Had a girl, 42 years old, born blind. Her name is Marie Kerr in Toronto. Uh, she came in blind, completely never saw with a walking stick. Wow. 10.30 at night, I was closing the meeting. We have footage of all this. I mean, if anybody would want to call our office and see this, because it's, it's gone viral. But they brought her down and she couldn't see anything. Well, her chief, her Indian chief, she was a native Canadian Indian, Canadian Indian. Her chief had told her that she was destined for darkness. She said, my chief told me, my parents told me. So we had to go through maybe, I don't know, four, three minutes of just uprooting bad seed. And all of a sudden I said, you know, you're going to really. And she said, what's that? What's that? <laughs> you know, and I said, "What's well, what?" And she, I never touched her. Yeah, I never touched her. I love it when yes. I don't have to touch. <laughs> I walked away to tell the people, "Hey, God's moving on yeah. her," and she just fell out. Nobody, boom! First yeah. time ever in her life. Yeah, it was so pure. Yeah. She got up and she was seeing. She had a husband she never saw, wow. two children that she never seen. Wow. She went home from a meeting. Don't talk to me about yes. a meeting not being significant. Amen. She went Amen. home from a meeting for the yes. first time, walked in the door, yes. and the husband said, what happened? And she said, I can see you. He went, oh, my God. Praise God. Called her kids, come, I want to see you. Oh my you can imagine, God. Tim, oh my what that was like. Oh my. But we're seeing that. We're seeing, yeah. uh, I mean, body braces. Yeah. Uh, is it 100%? Not no, yet. No, and I'm glad you said that because not there are people yet. watching us today yeah, yeah. that maybe have been believing and still, you know, haven't seen manifestation, but isn't the key just to keep believing and don't quit well, believing? Well, it's that's easy to say. It's hard for people to keep believing. Okay. So I would say this phrase, okay. stay in an atmosphere that helps you keep believing. There you go. Oh, stay hooked up, exactly. Stay, well, you know, because we, we, a lot of people just can't go vertical yet. Right. They got to get it through somebody yeah. or through a service. Right. You know, we all, we all were there. And at times we all still need to be there. I mean. I have faith for this, but there's other areas I have faith I have to grow. Because yeah. everything you haven't experienced, God forbid that you would, you may have to grow faith to meet that giant. Sure. You know, yes. so I've had cancer twice as a boy, as a young man. And thank you, Lord, for that wonderful grace, that mercy. I thank you for that. But Amen. I see people in our meetings, and I saw it here this week. One thing I would say this week, what's going on here, which is amazing, yes. besides the, the obvious people that received, there's a lot of people growing faith. Yeah. Yes. They're leaving here with, with groundbreaking right. faith that's going to create manifestation, not today, but. Yeah. Well, Bill, Bill Winston says it's an impartation meeting. This meeting is yeah. an impartation week. There you go. There you go. Well, what more? What be, that's part of the mentoring. Yes. See, that's catching it from someone who's been there. Yeah. So if you're starving, you know, are you going to tell the pizza man, 
uh, no, I don't want the pizza because yeah. you're bringing it? <laughs> right. Or are you going to say, no, I want Domino's to bring it exactly. or whoever? Exactly, yeah. And the people that have been watching us this week, I think it bears oh. mentioning here, they can receive just as much. I mean, oh you my. don't have to just do oh this. In this day and age, yes. the Apostle Paul would be green with envy. <laughs> he would be. Oh, oh my. <laughs> To have this vehicle. He's up there watching right now thinking of a boy. If you had, I'd have had that, I'd have won the whole world. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but, but I think, I think that what a luxury to be able to Google anybody. Yeah. Any atmosphere. Yes. There's no, really today God's removing every excuse. Yes. You know, from, from natural, from our eating. Yeah. To our exercising. Yes. To the supernatural. Right. You know, to getting in the shadow of people that when I grew up, I mean, you had to drive to see Catherine Coleman. There you go. You know, I had, yes. you know, you had to, you know, you yes. had to really make an effort to come and see Oral Roberts. He's removing all the barriers too. But now you just click it, you get on your phone, and you say, "Hey, can you?" And you ask that phone Siri, whoever that is, whoever you call yours, Myrtle. I don't know, but <laughs> hey, Myrtle, uh, how old was Catherine Coleman when? And boy, it just comes up. Yeah. What a yeah. day. Right. And and the anointing. And the signs and wonders that they operated under are still here today. Oh my. I think that's what people need to understand. That did not pass away when Catherine Kuhlman left. Oh and all my, these no, no, no. It did not. I mean, watching Kenneth last night, really, you know, uh, Bill Winston or Kref, any of these guys. But yeah. Kenneth last night, I said to him afterwards, I thought last night was like epic. <laughs> I thought last night, I mean, if last night didn't shake you, yeah. you have dinosaur skin. I mean, <laughs> no, I was sitting there thinking, well, I know I heard this, but I didn't hear that yeah. that way. Yes. And so God always has a narrative, you yeah. know, to get that, thread that needle for yes. all of us. Yes. But last night, he just put it together years, years yeah. of his meditating, years of his communicating. You know, he put it in a blender and it came out. So people left here last night, they have no idea, idea. Yeah. what's in them. Would you take just a moment uh -huh. uh, in what we have left here and pray for the people that are watching us? Of course. Too. As they get prepared to listen to the Word of God this morning. Of course. Morning. Right here? Yes, sir. Holy Spirit, we thank you for each viewer today. I ask you that you would create right now an expectancy. Let, let something breaking right now in all of these wonderful minds break through that thinking. Thank you, Jesus. Break through the fear. Thank you, Father. Break through the impossibility thank of what you, they're Father. facing. Let to be a grace they never knew. Yes. Let all grace abound. Let there be a mercy hit their home. Yes. Thank Let you, your Father. glory pass over their house. Let something begin to happen even in this moment and build and grow. I pray God within the next 21 days Praise that there would be a manifestation that they've never seen. Amen. Inner healing, Amen. physical healing, Amen. braces, wheelchairs, Amen. medication. Oh God, in the next 21 days, glory. I pray your mighty power move on this people. Jesus name. Oh, I thank you now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Ooh. Now, how can people pray for you? Pray for me. How can people how pray can for people me? How can people that are watching pray for you? I would really welcome all prayers regarding strength. Okay. Physical strength, stamina. Yes. Longevity. Right place, right time. Yeah. And of course, yeah. resources. Absolutely. You know, everything we're doing, Tim, yes. seems to suddenly cost. <laughs> I don't have any small ticket item. Uh, I used to have some nice little small <laughs> right, ticket items on right. my schedule. Now everything, oh, that's, oh. Let me give, me give me the cheapest thing I tell my secretary. She says, well, that's 10,000. What? Where's the cheap stuff? <laughs> so something has changed. The water's deeper yeah. and darker. And, uh, but really, we know he's our yes. provider, but yes. we know that he uses people. Amen. He told, God told Elijah, I've commanded a widow woman mm. to sustain you. But when he showed up, she wasn't cooperating fully. So, so cooperate. Though, People need to cooperate. So even though God moves on you to, to yeah. help somebody, sometimes it takes a while yeah. for you to go, wow, I think the Spirit's really telling yeah. me to. Amen. Well, you guys heard it. And here comes Greg. There's Greg. There's hey, Greg. Buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey Greg. Good to see you. Uh, we're about 30 seconds away from uh, our pre-service prayer with Pastor Terry. That's an important time. I heard about miracles on the street with you last night. Yes. Walking to the well, hotel, yeah. and praying for people. Yeah. Oh, and by the out. way, by the way, miracles on the mountain at EMIC in next year, March 29th and 30th. Miracles on the mountain at EMIC, March 29th and 30th. This man of God will be, be there. You got to be there. Awesome. I'll be there. He'll be there. I know you'll be there. <laughs> you'll be there. And, and Jesus the prayer will be line. There. We're going to put the prayer line up for you this morning as well. Uh, and write this number down: 877-281-6297. That is the number you call to talk to one of our prayer ministers at Kenneth Couple Ministries. 
They will pray with you as long as they need to. But don't call until you're ready to release your faith. You gotta be able to, you gotta be in a place where you're ready to release your faith. Can they get faith. here this morning or no? They can't get here this they, morning? They, if they, can, they can. If you can get here. Here goes, here goes, here goes Pastor Terry.